YouTube. How the fuck are you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot. Today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Obviously, I have Money B with me in the car. We just got back from Jamba Juice. Uh, since Mike is away at the house, we figured we'd get our, our our fruit nutrients in somehow. Obviously, I know there's a lot of sugar in here, but you know, I'm, I'm just trying to get my day going, get it started. <laughs> that guy just gave me the dirtiest look. No lie. Oh, I got to hit this light. And turn. Uh, but as you guys can see by the title of this video, a lot of you guys are probably freaking out, okay? It says roster changes, what to think of them. And you guys are thinking, oh God, Optic's making a roster change. And I can tell you guys right now, as it stands currently, we aren't. Now, do we plan to in the future? I don't know. Do we plan on picking up a specific player? I don't know. Do we plan on dropping a specific player? I don't know. These, these are all questions that you guys can ask, but I don't have answers to, okay? But what I wanna do is talk to you guys and be transparent and honest with you guys as possible so that you guys understand where I'm coming from. And that's actually why I brought Money B with me because he's been a pro player in the scene for a couple years now. When, how long have you been competing for? Alright, so in MW, I really started like competing, competing in MW3. I started going to locals, but like traveling, uh, Black Ops 2. Okay, so you've been traveling and competing since Black Ops 2. Yeah. Now, in that one year, how many different teams were you on? Bro, too many to count? I, I, yeah. Yes. So in Black Ops 2, you were on way too many teams to count. I was probably on at least 5 to 12 teams. And if I remember correctly, you won your first major event in Black Ops 2. It was an MLG event, PAX event, right? It was yep. an invite only, 8 teams. And you actually ended up winning it. Yep. And then you got dropped right yeah. after, right? <laughs> yep, dropped like a bad habit, dude. It was ridiculous. I couldn't even believe it. But it all worked out, and well, it worked out in my favor because they got pooped on. Yeah, I was happy. I was literally sitting home like, <laughs> yeah, they got destroyed. <laughs> yeah, of course. But yeah. like I said, if I don't, I'm in that case that they shouldn't have dropped me. We won. Obviously, things were working. But if things aren't working, it, it, there's like stages to it. You got to figure out. At least try to figure out the problem. Right. Try, see if you can fix it. And right. If you can't, that's when the roster chain ha happens. So after after COD Champs, we decided that we needed more slang power uh -huh. with Proofy. And we made a roster change and, and we gave you your own team with Object Nation, which uh, that's why I don't like the word dropped. Because I don't even, what we did to you, I don't even consider like, it's not even a thing. It's not like we yeah. dropped you. We just decided that, all right, we need something different for our team for us to work and to win. And when we made that change, obviously it worked out because we ended up winning X Games, and you're still doing really, really well with your team. I mean, yeah. hell, you just beat us at the last event. Yeah, if anything, you guys were dropped because now we're the A team. Hey, <laughs> money be on the A team. No, I do. <laughs> you beat us fair and square, so you guys right now are the better team, which I have no problem admitting. But for me, when we start playing poorly, and we're not winning matches, and we're not playing well at tournaments, which we didn't really wasn't the case the last event uh, we ended up getting fourth and we lost to you guys so it was close uh, Gfinity we placed fifth through eighth which I don't really have an explanation for we were just off our game and, and we weren't playing well and that's why that didn't work out but for me as the leader of the team I look for solutions to problems mm -hmm. and when I can't find a solution the next the next step in the process is do we need a change in the roster do we need uh, somebody different in our lineup to help us get that extra push to help us get those kills in search and destroy to help us get those flag caps and domination or to make that extra smart play in a clutch situation to play calm cool and collective when we need them to that's what comes into my head so what I'm trying to say guys is that right now we're not making any roster changes but if we ever do decide to do that in the future I just need our, our true fans and, and true supporters of the green wall to respect and understand our decisions because as players in the league who have been doing this for a very 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 long time I feel like we are the best the best people to make that type of decision yeah now people who watch our streams every day might think like oh this is the problem oh this is what's going wrong this is why you guys aren't placing well and a lot of people are gonna say practice uh, which I disagree with but that's another thing for an, a, another video it, this leading to the game is him you don't even need to practice. Yeah. Now that's and that's the truth. Anyone will tell you that. Now, most players, for no, most pro players will probably agree with that. And a lot of people that watch our streams are probably gonna be thinking like, "What the hell are you talking about?" <laughs> At this point in the game, you don't need to practice. What I'm saying is that every play in Call of Duty is situational. And ten months into the game, 
Every pro player that's on a top team should know what play to make in every situation to get their team the best possible chance to win the map. When to rotate, when to plant the bomb, when to set up in a power position, stuff like that. That's all things that you should have down pat in the book. You shouldn't even need to question yourself when you do that. So practice in a sense really just comes down to chemistry. And we've been teaming for a couple months now, so chemistry isn't gonna change. If anything, it's gonna get worse because we're playing with each other 24 seven, getting it on each other's nerves. But the reason why I wanted to make this video was that I've been dropped personally from Optic Gaming one time before, and I finally got back on the team in Black Ops 2. I have been on so many different rosters in my lifetime, it's insane. And when I got dropped from Optic Gaming and they replaced me with JCap back in uh, Modern Warfare 2 and then leading into Modern Warfare 3, I didn't really take it personal because they thought that they had a better chance of winning with somebody else, which I completely understand. At the time, I was the captain of the team, so at that point, I was a little disappointed, but you know, it, when it comes down to it, it's business. Winning is business, and that's all it is. And I think that's what a lot of times a lot of fans and a lot of supporters and stream watchers have a hard time understanding. Uh, you know, back when it was only me on the team uh, and Skump wanted to leave Optic because I was on the team, that was back a couple months ago. That was like, I think that was in like December. So almost uh, seven or eight months back, I offered Hex like, dude, keep Skump on the team, I'll leave. I'll either make my own team and compete and I'll stay in Optic or I'll just quit competing, I'll, I'll retire. And that was a sacrifice that I was willing to make because I knew Skump at the time was a better player than me and he was gonna give Optic Gaming the best chance of winning. So that's really what it comes down to is us players and at me being the captain of the team, I feel like I have a really, really, really good understanding and education on what is going to make a successful team and what combination of players are gonna make a successful team. Okay. So. It's always the players because we're actually there. We experience everything that's going down. We know player tendencies. But I think me and you're the same in, in a way. And you can probably agree with me is that in the game, we all get mad at someone if they don't do what we would have done. Right. Do you agree? Yeah, 100%. Because like the plays I see someone make, I'm just like, it makes me cringe. Dude, like, even what, on my what own are you team, thinking? I'm like, like I, I swear, it's like when even when I'm playing with my own team, like I'll call something out and if, some, if they don't react within the second, I'm like, so mad because I know if I was in that situation I heard that I would have turned around it's just like little things like that that just throw you off and that that stuff like that could possibly ruin team chemistry as well right now I know there's gonna be a lot of rumors flying around just because I made this video and people are gonna be saying things and people might be angry with us people but nothing has changed the roster hasn't changed still Clayster, Proofy, Scump and myself but if things continue to not work out in our favor like they have at the last two events and they have in the last couple online tournaments and matches, things may need to change. And I don't know when that's gonna happen. I don't know what the timeline for something like that is or if it even is gonna happen at all. I just wanted to make this video to be honest with you guys and let you guys know what's going through my head and to bring on somebody who has just as much, ex ex well, I have a little more experience. Yeah, you do, you do. But you, are the better team right now. So obviously <laughs> you put together a better roster. I want to bring on Money B to really back up what I'm saying so that you guys understand what is going through the mind of a pro player and what the what's going through the mind of a captain of a team. I so agree. and I agree with everything you said. Just let everyone know. So, I am backing up with this. Hey, my dude Money B. <laughs> so like I said guys, that's all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to give you guys some insight what goes through our heads. And I really appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Come check out the live stream if you guys want. I'm gonna be streaming for about nine or 10 hours a day, so it should be a grind. But thanks for watching, guys, and YouTube. We'll see you fudging later. Goodbye. Whoa! You see that money B? We almost crashed. <laughs> Whoa! Running from an A rap. Got robbed right three months later on some dumb shit. 19 studying on these niggas like a real shit. I was trying to get it. Every single morning, took the bus to hit the studio, hey. my nigga. I was living on a